So with localization, we refer to estimating the position and most of the time also the orientation of an object moving through our world. Um, this can be a robot navigating through the environment, a car driving around, um, a UAV flying, um, or in general a sensor. And what we want to do is we take those sensor readings and we want to estimate where is that system in a given coordinate frame. And often this coordinate frame is defined based on a map of the environment. So you can make an example from about yourself. You're in, in a new city, you take out a map of the city and you use your perceptions, for example, your eyes to read street signs and then estimate where you are on your map. That's a form of localization. Or using a GPS receiver, which gives you a coordinate, which provides you then some information about where you are in the environment. And this localization task is highly relevant in robotics, um, in photogrammetry, in computer vision, in autonomous driving, um, in using your smartphone. Also, you often use services which require post information about where you are in the world. So that's super relevant and a building block for most notification systems or autonomous systems in general. We typically distinguish between online and offline approaches. Once you want to estimate where's the system right now, given the information that I have so far or in the offline um, approaches where you have all the data at hand and want to reconstruct the full trajectory. We furthermore distinguish typically between post-tracking, which means we want to estimate where the system is starting from a known location or having an initial estimate, or global localization where we have no idea where we are and we want to globally um, estimate our position without any prior information. How do you solve the localization uh, problem? typically use probabilistic approaches and most of the online approaches rely on a recursive base filter which is technique for state estimation. There are different realizations of this base filter, for example a Kalman filter, a particle filter, a histogram filter um, or even optimization based approaches are used. And this has led to popular algorithms such as the EKF localization, Monte Carlo localization, Markov localization or sliding window-based least squares approaches, which are somewhat a hybrid between an online and an offline approach. They all have different advantages and disadvantages, such as being restricted to certain types of probability distributions, such as Gaussians, um, or being computationally very efficient compared to computationally more demanding. And which algorithm you, ch you choose um, basically depends on your application, on your constraints with respect to assumptions you can make about the world, uh, with respect to uh, your constraints on robustness, your precision, your um, computational resources that are available. So a lot of those factors need to be taken into account you know, to evaluate which localization system is good for you. In general, these localization systems use control information. That means, for example, steering information of the vehicle. In a car, what's the angle of this, your steering wheel and how hard do you press the gas pedal would be control information. It's important to predict where the system will be at the next point in time. You can also use, or you then use as a second step, sensor information such as a camera or a laser rangefinder in order to perceive the world and estimate where could you be or what's an unlikely position you might be in. And then you combine this prediction and this correction uh, information in order to estimate where you are. So in practice, localization plays an important role in the key building block of every autonomous system, of every navigation system which is out there. And um, again, they differ in with terms of robustness, with terms of the assumptions of the underlying um, distributions about the motion models, are, is the world linear or nonlinear, um, what are your runtime constraints, you want to do global localizations. These are always important things that um, impact the design decisions about which localization system to choose. I hope that gave you an idea what localization is or what we in robotics refer to as localization and that you can now dive into the individual algorithms and go further understand Kalman filters, particle filters or histogram filters in order to solve that task. So thank you very much and see you soon.